This is really important. You've got to get this. This business is a marathon. Write that down. This business is a marathon of little sprints. Get it? See, here's what happened. If you sprint all the time in this business, you go, 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 head, 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 door, 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 you're going to bring yourselves out, ladies and gentlemen. You are. You really are. This is a marathon. You don't start a marathon at full speed because you will not make it to the end of the marathon. On the other side of the coin, if you don't have many sprints along the way, you're going to be bored with this marathon and not hit your goals along the way. So that's you'll find in marathons, people time themselves on the mile. Or they time themselves on the two mile. Or they say that in the first quarter of the marathon, I need to hit these numbers. In the middle, I'm going to slow down a little bit. And in the end, I'm going to kick it up a little bit. And they've got their stopwatch on, or they have a team member that's working with them on this. So the business is a marathon, but you had better set goals along the way or uh, have uh, markers along the way to determine where you're supposed to be at any given week or month or year. We ask you to keep track of your numbers and keep track of that accountability. That's all part of it. Where am I this week? Where am I this month? You know, I'm bugging you guys about previewing property and going to see property. Those of you that are hitting 20 to 25 previews a week are starting to get it, understand it, get your appointments, and turn your appointments into listings. Those of you that are not doing the previews, the truth is you're really not doing the business and you don't understand why, and we keep telling you and you're not listening. Okay? One of the do's is take the wax out of your ears. <laughs> really? Take the wax out of your ears. Pay attention. All right? I wrote down here, next thought. See rejection as a tool to learn about yourself. How do you react to rejection? Does it stop you or does it say, whoa, I need to hear that. I need to get going. You know, we talk about, we're working on the scripts and dialogues now. Never take no for an answer when yes is still possible with a qualified client. And we're taking those no's three, four, five, six times. Practice those over and over and over and over again. So that when you get the no's, they tend to bounce off of you. Or you absorb them. They don't stop you. That's the question. How hard or easy are you to stop? That's the question you have to be asking yourself all the time. I wrote down here, work as hard to keep the business as you did to get it. Oh, let me say that again. Work as hard to keep the business as you did to get the business. What are you doing on follow-up? When's the last time you talked to your past client and sphere? Do you stay in touch with them? That's one of the beauties that we were talking about about net aspects is you can put your clients on a drip campaign and on a weekly basis they can get something from you and you can touch them. Because you never know when people are going to wake up and say, hey, I need to do this. I need to do something. I need to do something in real estate, or I have a friend in the business. I wrote down here, another one is let poor prospects go earlier rather than later. Be qualifying your clients, be qualifying your clients, be qualifying your clients. Qualitize your clients. Always be working with better, better prospects. And if it's not a good prospect, cut it loose. Cut it loose and go find a good prospect. And then I wrote down here, the next one is, keep your ego out of the sales process. Keep your ego out of the sales process. Now let's go through some don'ts real quick. Don't try to make a sale without first building trust. Don't try to make a sale without first building some trust. How do you build trust? Ask questions. Ask questions. Ask them questions. Don't tell. Ask. Don't tell. 
ask. Do you guys get this? We're constantly telling and we're asking them to buy and we haven't even built a rapport yet. Show them what you know. You know, this was pretty cool. They have these broker, buy, broker